Performance Trends Road Race and Circle Track Datamite Data Logger can record sensor information for your car on a road course or a circle track. This data can be used for standard analysis of graphs and reports like other data loggers. Here at the main screen, you see tabs at the top for laps 1 through 5. The data on the main screen is not real detail, just enough to give you a summary of the test and a look at the different laps. Clicking on lap 2, you see lap 2. Back to lap 1, you see lap 1. Click on graphs at the top of the main screen for graph options, then make detailed graphs. These graphs allow for zooming. Here's some graph options. Click on Make Graph. These graphs allow for zooming, histograms, scaling, filtering, cursor line to identify individual points, overlay plots from other runs, and much more. Click on the graph and have a cursor line. And over here in the legend, the data for that line is identified. You can also click on the track map to get the line drawn at that point or on the friction circle here to see what data was on the friction circle at that point. You can click on back to return to the main screen. You could also click on reports here at the top of the main screen. They include standard reports of most any channel you pick versus time, RPM, or distance. Lap summaries with maximum, minimums, and averages for the very data, various data channels, and segment analysis reports. In addition, data from certain sensors can be sent to Performance Trend Suspension Analyzer for even more detailed analysis. Here we're on the setup screen for the data mite, and you can see here we have the four shock travel sensors identified, steering, throttle, and brake and other channels like RPM and acceleration are identified at the top and by clicking on the scroll bar to go back down. When you have identified these critical channels and have done the calibrations correctly, you can send this data to the suspension analyzer. The suspension analyzer lets you do, to do detailed suspension analysis. Click on send and you see two an options for sending to the suspension analyzer. One is just simple shock travel data and such. And the second option we will use is to send the track map data with it. You're now in the suspension analyzer. And the suspension analyzer has loaded the last suspension file you were working with. If this is not the suspension analyzer file you want, you could click on file up here, upper left, and open a different file. For this data might data to be useful to the suspension analyzer, you must have specified where the shock and steering travel sensors are located. Now we're doing a low resolution screen here so that this demo file or this demo movie is fairly easy to work with, easy to see. But I'm down at the bottom and you can see here this is only one line. Generally in a higher resolution screen you'd see 20 lines or so. But you can see here's the upper sensor mount, the lower sensor mount locations here. And you would have to have entered that information in. It does not have to be the same as the shock mounts. They can be different. Okay, you see the same track map and friction circle data down here at the bottom that you saw in the Datamite standard data analysis package. You can also go up here and click on slower or faster. We'll click on slower to slow down this suspension analysis here, this animation. And when we are recording this movie file, this data is much more jerky than it is if we weren't recording the data file for the movie. You can do a single step, one step at a time by clicking on single step. And then again, go over to click on the friction circle or the track at any particular point and you will see what the suspension was doing. You can see here as we're coming out of the turn 
Dive up here is minus 0.4, indicating the front end is rising. Roll is about one and a half degrees. Or if we go over here and click on the corner entry, you can see dive is six tenths of an inch, indicating that you are diving the front end as you're decelerating or braking going into the turn. Distance around the lap, engine RPM, time from the lap timer is also shown here. If we go continuous again, like we had, you can go down here on the table. And like I said, this is a much larger table a, with a higher res screen. And here you can see static camber, what it was at ride height, and how camber is changing as you go along the track. Here's the amount of change in the left. There's the actual change, or that's the actual camber. Change is the difference between static and dynamic. Same is true on the right side. You can see toe in, which is the angle of the front tires from steer. We can click on top view up here, and you can watch this happen from the top. You can also click on side view to see what's happening from the side. The suspension analyzer also does rear suspension analysis. Here's a side view of the rear suspension. Because it's a straight axle, there isn't as much inter interesting stuff going on. You go back to the front suspension. Typical view is front view. And here you can also see the instant centers moving. And this black dot is the roll center. You can watch it move as you're going to dive and roll around the, around the track. All you need to do is close out of this program, quit the suspension analyzer, and now you're back at the data mite, data mite program. This concludes our demo.